Samsung is expected to launch at least three versions of the Galaxy Watch 7 at its next unpacked event in July 10th, a cheaper Galaxy Watch FE may join it too. And now, a bunch of Samsung smartwatches have been listed by the FCC certification, with model numbers SML300, SML305, SML310, SML315, and SMR861. L300 and L310 could be the Wi-Fi-only versions of the two sizes for the vanilla Watch 7, with L305 and L315 being their respective LTE-capable iterations. MR861 is expected to be the Galaxy Watch FE or the Watch 4 2024. The Galaxy Watch is set for a major jump in performance and efficiency, courtesy of a new Exynos W1000 chipset. The SoC is reportedly built on Samsung's second-gen 3 nanometers node, the SF3, and represents a big step forward over the 5 nanometers W930 in the current generation Galaxy Watch 5. Samsung's upcoming smartwatch could use AI to detect atrial fibrillation more accurately. Samsung Samsung has confirmed that its next smartwatch could be more premium and include more AI features. One of the models could also feature the biggest battery ever seen in a Galaxy watch. According to a new report out of South Korea, Samsung is going to introduce blood sugar monitoring with the Galaxy Watch 7 this year. Smartwatches don't need as much storage as smartphones, but having more does mean you can install more apps, watch faces, and music on them. Samsung is a long way behind its main rivals here, so we'd like to see at least 32 gigabytes of storage in the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.